Okay, folks, joining me right now is the complete honor, one of the all-time greatest icons in pro wrestling history, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Ricky, it is such an honor to have you here today, brother. I like being here today at the fundraiser for the Family Dentist. Well, you know, um, I, I gave a little talk early on how, how everything that we're doing uh, today is, is, is all going in the right direction. Um, understand there's people out there that do need help and they do need assistance. And... Um, you know, find, finally finding a place uh, in the area that uh, they all they all have a place to go to. So, uh, living down in Florida and had a friend, and had a friend, had a connection, had a connection. And asked, would you come up here and just say a few words? And and uh, with the fundraiser that we got tonight, uh, the championship belt that's uh, that's up there to be uh, silent auctioned off, and uh, uh, I've got my autograph on it. You know, Tugboat's got his, Jimmy the Mouth uh, uh, of the South Heart has got his, Lanny Poffo's got his autograph on it. So uh, it's it's a great thing, and it's a you know. I mean, where can you come to a festive event and uh, sit and enjoy with people that do appreciate what you've done over the years, such as you and, and, and the guy behind the camera, and, uh, and at the same time know that everything that we're doing here tonight is all for the right reason. It's a great thing. It's fantastic to have yeah. you. I told you my favorite matches of all time are you and Ric Flair, the way that you tell a story with your body, with your actions. I want to know what your thoughts about you and Rick uh, all those years. Well, you know... Uh, I, I, had, I had some great matches with Macho Man Savage at WrestleMania 3 and then Jake Roberts and, you know, the list of Don Morocco and the, it goes on and on and on. But uh, anybody that's always asked me over the years, who, who was the one? And I, I, I keep coming up with Ric Flair. And uh, we wrestled each other so many times, but the consistency level, especially him, his, his high water mark was always to present it to the crowd in five stars and nothing less. And we'd go out there and just really pound on each other for an hour and have that style of match. And it, my vote has always been to him because of the consistent level that he's always, he always brought to the ring. You have any fond memories here in the Boston Garden coming in for the last 20, 30 years, all the great matches you've had here in Boston? Well, um, Boston Gardens, you know, every, every guy has, has a favorite venue. Boston has been mine. Uh, I, I also like going to Toronto, Canada, which has always been mine. You know, uh, Madison Square Garden has always been one of mine, Philadelphia Spectrum. But Boston Garden holds a special place in my heart. Um, Bret Hart and myself, uh, throughout our careers, as though we came along around the same time, only got to wrestle each other twice. And one of those times was Boston Gardens. That match is on my uh, DVDs, uh, The Best of Ricky Steamboat, My Career. Out of the thousands and thousands of matches that I've had throughout my career, I was so happy that that match with Bret Hart is on one of the DVDs. Great memories with Boston Gardens. Uh, the fans supporting me, uh, they're really off the hook. You know, you talk about um, cities that you wrestle in around the world, and I always bring up Boston Garden as one of the loudest venues that I've been. When they're with you, those people are with you. Uh, Boston Gardens are great. The old Boston Gardens, yes, the great, old one, yeah. great, great place to uh, to always to work in. And um, uh, you know, Bret Hart and I, we we had a special night uh, at the Boston Gardens, and we tore the house down. And you and Randy Savage stole the show. I remember the great story that yeah. you told, I think, at a Q&A where you guys were at the after party and Hogan was looking at yeah. you. And he goes, well, he knows, brother. We stole the show. And yeah. I, I just want to know, um, I heard that Randy likes to plot out the matches and write them or tell you yeah. ahead of time. But, you, I mean, back in there, you guys went out there and feel, you, you filled it out. You know what I mean? It was more of a, what well, would you think about that? Old, old school, uh, pretty much, you, you would just feel out the crowd and do, and do stuff in the course of the match and, and listen for a reaction. Randy, you know, knowing that we were able to uh, possibly go out and steal the show, WrestleMania 3, Andre was hurt, uh, bad back, bad hips, bad knees, uh, working a bear hug, which was uneventful. And he, yeah, Dragon, we got to steal this one tonight. So he, he's, you know, so it, he wanted to put together something from A to Z and um, totally different. We're taking a chance, and we did, and it ended up being a match. You know, here we go 29 years later, and they're still talking about it. So it's, um, you know, thanks to Randy Savage. I wish he was here tonight. Yeah. Well, we got Lanny here, so. Yeah, I, that, you know, that's about the second best as we can get, but nothing like Macho Man. Nothing like him. I mean, he was a consummate uh, uh, professional and um, always thinking about the other guy and how uh, good he can make, make him look in the course of the match.
you know, really a prince of a man. I want to thank you so much for your yeah. time, Ricky. It's a complete honor. Yeah. Thank you for being on my show and your oh, time. You're Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, the icon. They don't come any better than Ricky the Dragon Steamboat.